congratulations! You deserve it, because you made it all the way until the end of this course. That's just amazing! I am really proud of you, and I want to thank you so much for staying with me through all this course. I really, really hope that you have learned a lot from all the lectures. What I showed you in this course will give you a strong foundation and you are now able to build beautiful websites completely on your own. Now, let me tell you this. This may be the end of this course, but it certainly isn't the end of your journey. In fact, it is just the beginning. There is still so much more fun stuff to learn. Actually, I will be adding bonus lectures in the future about topics that you, my students, wish to learn more about. So if enough students want to learn about a specific topic, I will be very happy to add a bonus video about it. So let me know about that in the comment section right of this video. Now, once you're a web designer and developer, one thing you will want to do is to keep up with the web industry. Things are in constant change and there are always new things to learn. For instance, five years ago no one even knew responsive web design existed and today you simply cannot build a non-responsive website. So, the best thing you can do to keep up with all the new best practices, new tools and new resources is to read web design and development blogs. There are plenty of them on the internet and I put some of the ones I follow in the course ebook. Now, maybe you wonder what else you can do now to practice your new skills and even start to earn some money. Well, there are actually a lot of things you can do. For instance, redesign existing websites that you think are poorly designed. If you know the owner of that website, you can even show your redesign and offer them your services. You can also design a website for free for a local charity or something like that. Or go to 99designs and join design contests. You will make designs for different contests and if you win, you get the prize money. And once you're more confident, you can start to do some freelance work on freelancing websites such as freelancer.com, Odesk or Elance. You can find lots of stuff about these websites in case you want to start doing this. I would also love it if you'd stay here in the course forums, helping out others whenever you can and remain a valuable part of this community we're building together here. Even now that you've completed the course, feel free to ask me any question you might have. And now it's time for me to ask you a little favor. If you like this course, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a review to help others find this course. It's so easy to do and it really motivates me to continue working on this course and add more and more bonus lectures for you to learn even more. So if you think this course deserves a good review, well then go ahead. Also you can tell everyone who wants to start with web development about this course. Because the more people we can help, the better. Now let me give you one last piece of advice. Practice, practice, practice your new skills. Please never stop learning and you will achieve more than you can imagine. Dream big. I wish you all the best for your new career and I genuinely hope that all those dreams may come true.